hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing with you my experience with the dishwasher i have been using it since the past three years i have given its review two years back also you can check that out i will paste the link in the description box below so just to give a recap this is a my dear dishwasher and we bought it three years back at that time we got it for thirty thousand. It is cheaper than the other well-known brands but it has been working smoothly and we have not faced any issues. When you buy a dishwasher, the installation is simple. You just have to have an inlet and outlet connection and of, of course the electricity connection. It is uh, just like uh, buying a washing machine. But if you are a first time user, then you have to wait for the installation technician to give you a demo because there are several things that you have to keep in mind uh, like uh, uh, the utensils you can keep in this and you have to understand the different settings and he will also make the setting for the water softener it is made according to the hardness of the water in your area so you should know the tedious level of the water supply in the past three four years the dishwashers have become uh, quite common in india also so the technicians are well versed now but when we bought it three years back, the technician that came hardly knew anything about the dishwasher and we had to figure out the settings and everything ourselves only from the booklet we got with the dishwasher. So as for the utensils, you can only wash stainless steel utensils and the crockery, your ceramics, your glasses and we cannot wash non-stick utensils plastics and aluminium utensils in this due to the high heat of the water the outer layer becomes oxidized they become ruined non-stick includes uh, hard anodized also so you cannot wash hard anodized uh, utensils also in this since i bought the dishwasher i have changed most of my utensils to stainless steel so now it is easier for me now i don't have to wash too many by hand and I don't have to rely on a maid for utensils. So currently I'm using the finish washing powder. In these years I have changed the washing powders also. Earlier I used the tablet which is 3-in-1. And in that you don't have to add salt and rinse it separately. But since the past 2 years we have found that uh, dishwashing powder is more convenient and cost effective also. So I have used the IFB dishwashing detergent and the, the finish det detergent also but uh, this Fortune dishwasher detergent I have found most convenient and cost effective as it is cheaper than both of them and uh, the dishes are washed perfectly and Fortune rinse aid and uh, salt are also cheaper than the other brands. I have been using these since a long time and uh, you can get them in combos also. And every day you just have to add the detergent and the rinse aid and salt are added once in a while. When the rinse aid or salt have to be filled, uh, there is an indicator which shows which lights up so uh, you know that uh, you have to fill it again. The rinse aid we have to refill in about 15 to 20 days and the salt uh, I think in 2-3 uh, months. I have not exactly checked the time period. I think this is the approximate time. So now an update of after 3 years of use, I would say that uh, it has been very convenient for me. I don't have to rely on maids for washing utensils and since the dishwasher uses hot water to wash the dishes, so I get hygienically washed and sparkling clean dishes. And many times I have been asked the question that uh, isn't it more work that you have to load the dishwasher and then unload it. Uh, while a maid will come and wash the dishes and she will also keep them in the right place but frankly speaking i would not change it for anything now i rely on the dishwasher uh, completely for my utensils and uh, the few utensils that cannot go in the dishwasher i wash them myself and i'm quite happy about it as it keeps me moving and no matter how well you wash the dishes by hand they cannot be as clean as they are washed in dishwasher because uh, the dishwasher uses hot water and there are sprays inside through which water comes with the very high pressure so the you know, all the food material that is stuck to the utensils gets cleaned and i also get questions about uh, its electricity use so it is not that much 
there are different programs which use different level of electricity and there is the eco mode which uses very less electricity and water in this my dear dishwasher the eco program takes about 3 hours and 45 minutes to complete the cycle but it is energy efficient so for everyday use i use the eco program only and my electricity bill has not also changed much due to the dishwasher in this dishwasher there are seven different programs the first program is the p1 it is intensive and it uh, heats up the water up to 60 degrees and it takes 170 minutes to complete the cycle and it does highly effective cleaning even dried up food on the utensils can be cleaned in the cycle i have tried it once and i got sparkling very clean dishes even though i don't dry up the food on the utensils i usually fill them with water that i use for washing my lentils or vegetables next is the p2 program which is eco mode and this is the one i use every day it takes a lot of time but it is cost effective it does not use up too much electricity the p1 program uses uh, somewhat uh, more electricity as it heats up the water to 60 degrees the p3 program is for lightly soiled crockery and glassware and it heats up the water to only 40 degrees and takes 130 minutes and the p4 program takes 90 minutes while heating up the water to 65 degrees so it uses up more electricity and i use this program only when we have to go somewhere and i want the cycle to finish up quickly and then there is another quick cycle which is for 30 minutes the p5 one which is for lightly soiled uh, utensils and if i have very few utensils and i have to go somewhere then i use this cycle often and after it finishes i leave the door open a bit so that the utensils dry by air themselves then the p6 cycle is for self cleaning of the dishwasher i have never used it as a dishwasher has not become dirty the p7 cycle is a prewash so the dishes will just be rinsed and you can wash them later on it is probably for when you don't have too many dishes and you don't want them to dry up so in 3 years i have found that the dishwasher uses only around 10 liters of water per cycle the electricity bill is also affected only by around 200 to 250 rupees per month and its detergent uh, salt and rinse it cost per month is only around 500 rupees so i think the per month cost maximum i would say is around 800 rupees for the dishwasher plus you are getting hygienically clean uh, utensils and there's no headache of uh, relying on any maid and you can wash your dishes as per your convenience and time this is the rinse it compartment we can set the rinse it usage setting from 1 to 6 we are using it currently on 1 the job of rinse it is to give a shine to the utensils if the rinse it is finished and needs refilling then the left side light will turn on and if salt is finished then the center light will turn on and the third light is for uh, no water supply and if you are not loading the dishwasher fully then you can press the half button and salt we have to fill in this compartment when filling it salt for the first time you have to fill it with water and then you have to add 1 kg of salt so that's all for today if you liked my video please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries uh, write in the comment section below thank you for watching